Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem A from Code Forces round 468 entitled Friends Meeting. The problem states two friends are on the coordinate axis 0x in points with integer coordinates. One of them is in point x1 equal to a and another is in the point x2 equal to b. Each of the friends can move by one along the line in any direction an unlimited number of times. When a friend moves, the tiredness of a friend changes according to the following rules. The first move increases the tiredness by one, the second move increases the tiredness by two, the third by three, and so on. For example, if a friend moves first to the left, then to the right, returning to the same point, and then again to the left, his tiredness becomes Becomes equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. The friends want to meet in an integer point. Determine the minimum total tiredness they should gain if they meet in the same point. And note that the value of the starting position a and b for the two individuals will be between 1 and 1000 and we know that a will not be equal to b. So let's take a look at an example. So in this example, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 10. So if we look at this visually, uh, we have a straight line and we'll call uh, a Jack and b Jill. So Jack is at position 4 and Jill is at position 10. So we know that they want to meet at the same point. So there's definitely not going to be any zigzagging. They're just going to move towards each other. And uh, their tiredness is going to increase as they move. So uh, as they move towards each other, we can sort of visually see uh, how their tiredness is increasing. Increasing. So uh, the first move will add one to each of their tiredness. Uh, the second move will add two, and then the third move will add three. So uh, we can see that uh, the total tiredness is just going to be the sum of all these numbers. So it's going to be six plus six is equal to 12. So we can make use of the uh, arithmetic increasing series sum, uh, which is equal to the following. So we know that if we have uh, 1 to n uh, and we need to sum that, that's just equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So that's just a mathematical fact. Um, so the other example that we need to uh, consider is that uh, for our previous example, when a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 10, the difference between these two is even, and that means that this is going to be symmetric. But if we have an odd difference where a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 10, that means that one of the two individuals, after having moved uh, the same amount as the other, is going to have to make that final move. So we'll have to do a small modification uh, when, the, when the difference between a and b is odd. Um, so note for this problem, n is going to be equal to the absolute difference of a and b divided by 2. Uh, so when a was equal to 4, b was equal to 10, uh, we're going to take the difference, which will be 6, and then divide that by 2 to get the 3. Um, and like I said before, when we have an odd number, we're just going to add basically this extra amount, which will be n plus 1. Um, and so if we plug this into our formula here, uh, we're going to end up getting 2 times n times n plus 1 divided by 2 because we need to add the distance for both Jack and Jill. And uh, note here that the 2s will cancel out. Uh, so we're just going to end up with n times n plus 1. So uh, using this information, let's take a look at our code. So here is what uh, the code initially looks like. Uh, we're going to modify this a bit to simplify it, but uh, you can hear, you can see here that we're uh, taking a and b and just reading that from our standard input. Uh, we then uh, calculate x, which is the absolute dif uh, difference between uh, a and b. Um, and then we have two cases. So when this distance x is even, uh, we're going to get that distance. So do the divide by 2 and then just plug that into our n times n plus 1 formula. Uh, but for the case where x is odd, we're using the same formula. But because we have that one number that we need to add, we're basically just adding that. So it's n times n plus 1 uh, plus uh, an n plus 1. So you can note here that we can actually just uh, fold this into our equation. Uh, equation here. So x times x plus 1 uh, plus x plus 1 is also equal to uh, x plus 1 times x plus 1. And now looking at this, we can see that the only difference uh, between this formula and this formula is a plus 1. So we can actually set a local variable, we'll call it y, and uh, we'll just set it to be equal to 1 when x is odd and 0 otherwise. And then we can condense uh, these sort of seven lines into uh, much fewer. 
So that's what we're doing here. So we've declared our local. We're going to set it to 1 uh, when it's odd. So uh, when the modulus 2 uh, does not equal 0, that means it's odd. Uh, and then we can do our x divided by 2 to get the uh, distance n. And uh, then we can plug this in. So uh, this will be our final code. And of course, uh, this code is constant. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start. You can find all of the code that I use in my videos on my GitHub page. All of the links are in the description down below. And finally, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.